The first myth that needs to be dispelled about psychic perception is its common other name, ESP, extrasensory perception. Actually, I, I think that's inaccurate. It's not extra. It's something everybody has. I, I prefer the term higher sensory perception. And also, one of the other common misconceptions is that ESP is the sixth sense. But it's not. It's actually the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. There seem to be four different ways of receiving. One of the things that's important about the one-on-one -on -one session we have in Free Soul is that a trained counselor helps you identify which of the four psychic reception methods will be most accurate for you, give you the clearest signals. The, the other reason I don't like the term ESP, extrasensory perception, is that unless you're bionic, you automatically have these senses because the psychic senses are the senses of the soul. They're the way that extra dimensional part of you senses on those deeper levels, whereas the physical senses sense more in our three dimensional realm. There are basically four major types of psychic sensitivity. Psychic vision deals with getting things more as images, mental pictures. Sometimes it's referred to as clairvoyance, which means clear seeing. Aura vision tends to be also an offshoot of psychic vision. But the key is you get something as an image in the mind's eye or in dreams, but visual. Psychic audience deals with getting things more as language. We specifically picked the term psychic audience rather than psychic hearing because audience, if you look it up in the dictionary, means hearing and listening, and listening in a language-based way. You don't necessarily have to hear things like a voice in your head, but you get impressions that come more as words or phrases as opposed to pictures or feelings. Psychic feeling is probably the most easily understood of the psychic senses. In, in the 60s, the expression was feeling vibes or we have a long-standing expression of the gut feeling. Picking things up more as a feel than words or pictures. Least understood, but actually the most phenomenal in some ways, and the fastest of the four psychic senses, is psychic intuition. Psychic intuition is where you get things just as a knowing. You didn't see anything, hear anything, feel anything, you just know. And it's sometimes the hardest to trust because it, it's there and it's gone so quickly. Sometimes people refer to that as prophecy because that intuitional knowing is harder to explain away. Actually, any of the four senses can be used for sensing past, present, or future. But we tend to discount premonitions when they come through the other senses. If you get a visual premonition, people tend to say, oh, that's me just worrying. Or if they have an auditory premonition, they say, oh, that's just me talking to myself or a feeling I'm just afraid. But when they get that flash of intuition, lightning bolt, it, it's kind of hard to explain it away, so they remember it. And then if it happens, they say, ah, that was a future premonition. But you can actually get future things from any one of the senses.